What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's what's for dinner video. I'm Jennifer if you're new here and I'm going to share with you guys as always some meals that we had in our house this past week that we really enjoyed. And might I add, they're simple and quick. But first I wanna share with you guys a friend of mine here on YouTube. She is going to be sharing a what's for dinner video today as well. So this video is in collaboration with her. Her name is Marina and her channel name is Fearfully Created. If you have not heard of her already, you have got to go check her out, you guys. She shares a lot of similar content to mine, but she also does some home upgrades and renovations and things like that. I think you guys are gonna truly enjoy. But what really drew me to her was her infectious personality. You guys are going to get a chuckle throughout her entire videos. She is just hilarious and I just love her. I wanted to share her with you guys because I thought that you guys would truly enjoy her channel as well. So go on and check her out. I'm gonna put her channel link down in my description box below along with a link for her video from today. So please go and check her out and let her know that I sent you guys. If you're coming over from Marina's channel, thank you so much for coming over and checking out my channel. I hope that you'll love it enough to want to stick around and subscribe because we would love to have you guys. All right, you guys, we're going to get into today's video. I hope y'all enjoy. Alrighty you guys, this delicious recipe will be linked down in my description box below. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna go ahead and get the marinade together here. The first thing up is one third of a cup of oil, two large cloves of garlic, and I have roughly chopped those, one teaspoon of minced jalapeno, and one tablespoon of brown sugar. Next, I'm adding in one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of ground cumin, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I did forget to put in my teaspoon of kosher salt, but it, I didn't see that it really made a difference anyway, but add it if you would like. Next, I'm combining the ingredients. At this point, you would use an immersion blender to completely process this marinade, but I don't have one of those, so I used my Nutribullet instead, <laughs> and it worked just fine. All right, here I have one bag of raw peeled shrimp that I have thawed out and removed the tails, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add the marinade to the shrimp. And once I get this incorporated with my shrimp here, I am gonna go ahead and throw some saran wrap on this and throw it in my refrigerator. At this point, it was like two o'clock in the day, so it got a good time in the refrigerator to marinate. All right, after marinating for a few hours, the recipe calls for mixing two teaspoons of tequila. I did not have that, so I did not follow this recipe to a T. Now that it's dinner time, I'm gonna go ahead and put the shrimp on some skewers. I learned that it makes it a lot easier to flip on the grill if you use two skewers instead of one. So here I'm putting two pieces of shrimp on and then a piece of sliced lime in between. And I ain't gonna tell you guys that this was the neatest recipe. I sure did make a mess, but it was totally worth it, I promise. All right, here we heated our grill up to medium high and we oiled the grates really well. We're just gonna throw the shrimp on there for about three to four minutes per side. You 
You guys, this recipe was so delicious that we are actually gonna try this same marinade on chicken this week. I highly recommend this. It was delicious, you guys. I served this with a side of cilantro lime rice and some roasted broccoli. All right, so first things first, I have set my Instant Pot to the saute option. I have one pound of ground beef here. We're gonna brown up, but first we're gonna go ahead and spray the Instant Pot with some non-stick spray. My hamburger meat was a little frozen still, but that's okay, no big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in one small onion that I have chopped, well, chopped and frozen. <laughs> and then one clove of garlic that I have minced. Next up, I'm adding in a bag of frozen mushrooms. Fresh would definitely be better in this recipe, but I was making this recipe later on in the week, so mushrooms tend to go bad on me if I don't use them right away. All right, we're gonna go ahead and saute that for a minute or two. And next up, we're gonna go ahead and add in one tablespoon of flour, one can of cream of mushroom soup, And I'm using this better than bouillon here in place of beef broth, but you're gonna add in two and one fourth cups of that after it's mixed. Here I'm adding in eight ounces of a wide egg noodles. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix all of these ingredients up. And once I have the noodles covered well in the liquid, it's time to seal off the Instant Pot and we are gonna go ahead and cook this on high pressure for three minutes. When the time is up, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick release. All right, you guys, and the last step here is going to be adding in one third of a cup of sour cream. And I thought this recipe was a really good, it definitely could have used a little more flavor. If you guys make something similar, let me know down in the comments below what you guys do to make it a little more flavorful. It was definitely good and I would make it again, but it needs more flavor. and I serve this with a nice breadstick on the side there. All right, you guys, I got a couple of shallow dishes out here. In the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and add in one cup of crushed Ritz crackers. I'm adding to that a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, and of course, I always eyeball it. And next up, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some black peppercorn to taste. We're gonna go ahead and mix that up to get it incorporated. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and crack two eggs in one of my other shallow bowls here, and we're gonna go ahead and beat these eggs well. The great thing about this recipe, guys, is you more than likely already have these ingredients on hand. So, one of those weak nights when you're just like, I just don't know what we're gonna have, rip this recipe on out and go to town. All 
All right, so here I have two large chicken breasts that I have split in half. First, I'm gonna go ahead and dip them into the egg mixture, and then I'm gonna coat them really well with the Ritz crackers. All right, before we stick these in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and take one stick of butter and we're gonna cut them into small cubes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take the butter and just evenly put it on top of the chicken breasts. All right, into the oven she goes on 375 for about 45 minutes. And for sides this night, I went ahead and made some green beans. I cooked them in some beef broth. And then also I made some white rice. Pretty simple, guys. This meal was so good, you guys, you got to try it. I will leave the recipe link below for you. All right, you guys, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. As always, I always enjoy our time together here. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you give me a great big old thumbs up down below. Let me know down in the comments if you are going to make any of these delicious recipes that I shared with you today. And don't forget to go check out Marina's channel and show her some love. I promise you are going to love her. She is something else. All right, you guys, I hope everyone has a wonderful week and until next time, keep them fed.